So when you're having a bad day or you're having not necessarily a bad day, but just one that isn't uh, what you had pictured, um, how do you reroute that with gratitude? The gra actually, the first thing I would say is that I breathe. I have learned the power of really quick snips of meditation. And then, yes, and then I dig in deep for what I'm grateful for. I'm actually grateful, not only grateful for things, I'm grateful that other things haven't happened. Right, so you're looking at the, the silver lining. Um, even though something has, has gone wrong, you're yeah. looking to say, okay, it could have been worse. Look, things could go much worse than my day getting derailed. Is it just fitness at your studio or is there also yoga? I teach wellness. So I really have transitioned my life and my um, livelihood toward teaching people things like this wellness because I have done, I've gone on the roller coaster road myself. I'm almost 53. And I have found that not only the thousands of people I saw come through my gym doors focused on fitness and food, I too were, was just like that. And so I learned that it's the other components of your wellness, like gratitude, like meditation, like breathing, mindset, sleep, stress tolerance are so much more important than focusing on food and fitness. I, I am all small group. Okay. So I don't teach one-on-one -on -one anymore. I'm such a big believer in social support that all of my fitness sessions are now groups. It really works. It really works. And if you look long-term, it's really effective. Instead of looking short-term for a particular event, a wedding, a party, Thanksgiving, Christmas, that are both approaching, and you look for life, I want to be healthy for life, or I want to have a good well-being, it's so much more rewarding, and you're less on that roller coaster ride that I was on. I like to teach people to breathe through your nose. Mm -hmm. As much as possible in your life, your nose has a natural filtration system to it, and our mouths do not. So okay. most airborne illnesses come in, and if it makes you sick, it comes in through your mouth. So as much as we can, we really want to breathe through our nose. To breathe in as deeply as you can, expanding your rib cage out, filling up your lungs as if they're big balloons, which is what they are. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, keeping the shoulders down. Hold it for a split second, and then let it all out through your mouth. Do that 10 times, and you really focus on the breathing out part. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible stress reliever. So you're going to run into the to-do list. Oh, my gosh, there's a car coming, or whatever, if you're sitting on the side of the road, if you're waiting for your son or daughter uh, at the bus stop. You still can meditate, or you can still be grateful there. And then something comes up, and you just gently escort your, your in intentions back to what you're doing. That's what mindfulness is. Sure. It's not worrying about the future, not getting upset about what happened in the past, but really truly focusing on the present. I think for the month of November and, and December for people in general, they're just so busy. And I think that as much as you want to have this holiday cheer, you can really forget that that's what it's all about because... It doesn't take long. It could take a minute. It could take but, 30 seconds. You could take one breath right. to steer you back to the positive. Yeah, a grateful thought. it is that easy, right? It just, yeah. it's, it's building the habit. It's building the habit and being consistent. Yeah. It truly is. It's about trying it every day.